the the friendship between a, a snail and a whale is uh, beautiful but unusual but i think it brings uh, it makes sense to to promote i guess to tolerance no or yeah so um so i think that the the message of the film uh is really about uh, how all of us can feel very very small in this world and how we can feel that you know, uh, a lot of the time with all the things that are going on and, and, uh, and recently, I mean, it's just, it just seems that we, we can get overwhelmed by negative messages, you know, that, that we have very little control. And, uh, and through this friendship, the snail kind of um, realizes that it doesn't matter how big you are, um, you know, what you do still makes a difference and you can still make a, a positive impact. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, Daniel, what, what were the biggest challenge to, to bring this, uh, children's book into into a film animated film so there were two there were two challenges one creative and then one sort of more technical and the creative challenge was as you mentioned it's a relationship between a snail and a whale and how are we going to get these two to interact in any kind of way that makes any sense on screen <laughs> and uh and so um you know because the, in the book, the snail spends most of the story on the tail of the whale, and uh, and so if you think about it, how are they going to talk to one another? How are they even going to look at each other? Because a whale's got its eyes on the side of its head, and <laughs> you know, um, and so we we found that uh, in doing the storyboards and in the editing, um, Max and Christian, um, our, our storyboard artist, found that if we just sort of suggest more of a relationship, and we have and we create moments where they can. Um, um, do things that kind of affect one another. There's a there's a, a a bit that we sort of added in from the book where snail gets lost and whale goes uh, looking for her. You really start to build a sense of relationship pretty pretty easily. I think the audience is doing a lot of that for us as well. They're they're making that connection. And then the big technical challenge was uh, because it's a story about a whale. It happens in the most expensive part of water and CGI. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we had to very quickly build a, um, an, a VFX team who was happy to take on the challenge. And it was a real challenge, but we're very proud of the result. How important was it uh, for you guys, for the team, to be, to be considered in the shortlist for Oscars? I guess it was... It's, uh... it's a huge, huge honor. I mean, we were really, really excited and, um, and completely amazed and uh and I, uh, the team in south africa who made this movie i mean they're a, a very diverse team and they're very young a lot of them a lot of our heads of department were sort of they're all sort of around 20 between 20 and 25. uh some of them this is the sort of third or fourth project they've worked on so to get this kind of recognition for all of us is just a huge huge honor yeah it really gives you guys a uh, reasons to keep going with passion i guess Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful.